Sandra Hussey here. Today I'm in northern New Mexico near the town of Las Vegas. That's right, there's a Las Vegas in New Mexico as well as the one I'm from in Nevada. So why am I here in Las Vegas, New Mexico? Well, I heard there were some hot springs here that are supposed to be pretty cool. And check it out. I'm here at them now and they are really interesting. These hot springs are called Montezuma hot springs because they're located outside a little town called Montezuma, but they're owned by this United World College, USA. I think the story with these hot springs are there used to be a really cool old historic hotel resort up there. I'm not sure you can see that in the background. I mean, I can use my crummy digital zoom to give you a little peek, but this was a really fancy old hotel back in the day around the turn of the 19th and 20th century around 1900 but the hotel closed or it was sold back in the early 1900s to this guy who turned it into this united world college i'm not really sure what the deal is if it's some kind of like humanist university or what but they still allow anybody who wants to to come soak in these hot springs it's open to the public it's right on the side of the friggin highway you just park your car there and then you hike down this little trail and there's a series there's three separate areas you can soak in. And these are some of the nicest springs I've ever been to. So a little break in the guardrail and then you just walk right down. There's this little barbed wire style. I think this is what you would call a style to keep animals out. I guess there might be deer or cows or something around here. I'm not really sure. But yeah, these hot springs are here. Free for anyone to use, even though they belong to the United World College. They basically have this sign posted here absolving themselves of any liability. But it's actually a really nicely preserved series of hot springs. I think there's a group of locals who take really good care of these and clean them up. And you can see they have no littering, please. And unlike any other hot spring I've ever been to, pretty much, there's trash cans. So you can actually throw your beer cans away, which might be one reason why there's not a lot of litter around here. Okay, there's three sets of pools here, so I'm going to give you a quick tour of all three starting right down here with this first little area. Okay, this thing here looks like it might be some kind of a source. There's that hugely heavy rock sitting on top of that 55 gallon drum lid. I wouldn't be able to move it to open it up, so it'll have to remain a mystery. But if you look down here, it looks like that's kind of where the source water is coming out of. So there's a little tub here, big enough for just one person. And what I like about this is it's got that nice sloped back to rest your back on. And then you could just look right up, if it was nighttime, at the beautiful starry sky. Right now, of course, it's daytime. But the water in that pool wasn't very hot. So we kept on going. And right over here, there's a couple other pools. And these are really neat. Apologies, that's my friend Scott sitting there. There were a bunch of people when we got here, but apparently we scared them all away. Look at that, how cool is this? This is like a remnant of the old bathhouse, these three tubs. Amazing. And then there's this beautiful creek or river flowing just below. So you can go in for a cold plunge if the water is high enough, which I guess it isn't right now. It's kind of murky. And there's these really cool stick fences like you see all over New Mexico. This looks like it's maybe just kind of like a little private changing area back here. But then there's another fence up top here by the upper pool. Now this is supposed to be the main pool here. We were just talking to one of the locals and you can see it's really deep and it's really clear and it's really hot. Ah, I mean it's so hot I can barely put my toe in and it feels like it's burning. But the guy that was here, the local guy that we were just talking to, he actually got in all the way up to his chin and stayed in there for a few minutes. And he was red as a lobster when he got out. But he said it's because he comes here all the time, so he's used to it. He said there was a high lithium content in this water as well, so I guess it's guaranteed to improve your mood. Now, if that top pool is too hot for you, which it is for me, they've got a little outlet here that goes down and comes out this pipe and fills this second pool, which is also a little bit too hot for me. So then you go down here, there's a third pool, and this one here was just right, like Goldilocks said. I soaked in that one earlier, and I don't want to get back in and get wet again, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the other two areas of pools so you can see for yourself how neat this place is.
Before I leave these upper pools though, it's kind of cool to see the names of the people here who presumably are locals who take care of this place. And they carved their names into it when they cemented this over. It's really neat. They've done a lot of nice work here actually, all this stonework. Some of it's probably from, or much of it's probably from the original old resort that was here. But a lot of it looks to be a little bit more recent to me. Like over here, they have all this hippie stuff. It says, peace on earth, with these kind of like hippie tiles. And then it looks like they built this really rickety stick fence up here along the side too, which probably isn't very functional, but it looks nice. Okay, the other sets of pools are down this trail. I mean, you could just walk along the highway there if you wanted to, it's a little bit easier. But if you're worried about getting hit by a car, or if you're wearing a bikini like me and you don't want to get honked at by every car that goes by, you can just kind of walk on this little trail and then you're hidden somewhat by the bushes. Okay, here's a little stairway heading down to the second set of springs that you can see right up here ahead. Okay, down here we have this giant concrete tank. I'm not sure what's in there. Some kind of plumbing works or something maybe from the old resort. Got this big metal cover on it that I guess people kind of write their names on. And then down, I thought this was really interesting down here. These two super deep, really creepy looking portals into the void. I mean, it's deep. You probably can't see because of the reflection of the sky. Maybe you can. There's coins at the bottom. Actually, if you look at the bottom right hand side, you can kind of see a penny reflecting. So you can see the bottom. They're not that deep. But something about the way these... <laughs> <laughs> these tubs just look like these gashes in this <laughs> creepy void. I don't know. They're just kind of creepy to me. And these tubs here are super hot. I mean, hotter than that deep one up top I just showed you. Can hardly even put my toe in these. Ooh. Although the local guy was telling us that the temperature in all of these tubs varies uh, depending on what time of year it is. So he said sometimes these are the hottest and then sometimes that one we were in is the hottest. You never know, I guess it just depends on the time of year. Uh-oh, I can hear thunder, so we better not stay here too much longer. Don't wanna get caught in a lightning storm. And then also, look at this. Yikes. Dangerous mountain lion seen in area, be observant. Yikes, I better be careful. Okay, we'll go check out the third section of pools real quick, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Before we go over there, I just wanted to point out how cute it is that they put these little benches and chairs made out of logs and Two by fours, four by fours, whatever that is. It's so cool. I love when people take care of stuff. Okay, let's blow through the rest of these springs and get out of here. You can see it's a really nicely well-trodden path here from one spring to the next or from one group of springs to the next. Seems like the kind of place you might be able to spend all day at if the weather was good. I'm sure it's beautiful in the winter too. Okay, so here we see a really creepy stone bathhouse off in the distance from the old resort. And there's a tub there and a tub up there. Let's go up top first. Okay, here's the upper pool over here in the third area. And you can see there's another one of those styles and staircases coming down from the road there. So you could park there as well. But this is a really nice tub. I actually was soaking in this one earlier because this was as close as I could get to the perfect temperature, but it was even this was a little bit too hot. Look how clear the water is. <laughs> this cloud's reflecting in it. It's so beautiful. I'm really bad with guessing temperatures and I didn't bring my thermometer with me, but I would guess that this spring here was maybe mm, like 104, 105. I mean, it was the hottest that I could handle. I was able to get in it all the way up to my neck, but I wasn't able to stay in it very long, like five minutes. So I would guess maybe 104, 105, it was hot. Actually, that's my beef with a lot of hot springs that I go to is they're not hot enough. So I guess I met my match here. These ones are almost all too hot. Okay, so that's the upper pool here. And then we go down here to that second one we saw. And there's also a third one over here. So let's go down to this one first. There's just kind of like a little stone pathway we can walk on. Not have to get our feet all muddy because it is kind of marshy down here. We're basically right down in this creek bed. So here's a, another pool that sort of is a annex off of this pond. And neither of these are very warm at all. They're pretty tepid. But up here, this pole here, well, this one was also kind of tepid. It wasn't warm enough for me, but it's a beautiful little pool. Again, look how clear the water is. Oh, wow, look, you can see all the bubbles coming up in it. It's the hot spring. 
source. I love that. Oh, wow, you just see these random bubbles and burbles here and there. That's hot gases coming up from the earth. Look at that. God had beans for dinner. But oh my gosh, what a gorgeous little hot spring this is. I love that it's owned by this World College, but they didn't close it off. They still let people soak here. It's really impressive. And even more than that, I'm impressed that the locals keep this place so tidy. You can tell, I'm sure people litter here. I did see some soggy diapers up top, but whoever takes care of these springs does a really good job coming and picking up the trash. So whoever you are, if you're watching this, my deepest, sincerest thanks and appreciation and respect goes to you. Okay, so this last little group of springs is right up here by this old stone bathhouse, which I think used to be something to do with the hot spring resort. I mean, I'm guessing this was kind of like the bathhouse area. And then that castle that we saw up on the hill was like where the hotel rooms were. And there was some kind of trail or something that led off through the woods so you could get back to the hotel. I'm not sure. But this thing here is locked up tighter than a you know what. So unfortunately, we won't be able to go in and poke around, but I can at least lift my camera up and peek through this window. Maybe we can see something. I'm really short. So let me see if I can get up here. I don't know, can you see anything? I guess that's where they had the changing rooms or the administrative offices or something like that, or maybe the check-in. Boy, who knows, but it's a really cool old stone building. This over here, I think, used to be the trail to get back to the hotel, because if you look at this really kind of creepy old bridge, I don't know if this is new or if this was there back in the days when this was a resort. It doesn't look like it's 100 years old, so it might be a newer bridge, but if you cross this bridge, it kind of takes you back up to where that United World College is now. I'll just give you a little peek at this beautiful creek. This really cool bridge. Look how neat this is. Beautiful creek. Like I said, if the water was higher, it'd make an awesome cold plunge. You could do a really nice cold, hot, cold rotation with that hot tub. I mean, the only downside to these springs that I can see is because they're right off the friggin' highway, you have to wear a swimsuit. There's no nude bathing allowed, which is how I prefer to soak in a hot spring. But, you know, I'll wear a bikini if I have to. Not the end of the world. Anyway, even though you can't get naked here, it's still a cool hot spring and I really enjoyed stopping here. Just because of the really interesting history and the variety of pools. And it's just a beautiful friggin' place to soak. Worth suffering a wet, soggy, cold bikini for. Okay, now I left the hot spring and drove up the hill to the old resort. Or what used to be the resort and is now this united world college i guess the philanthropist armand hammer bought the old resort and turned it into this kind of humanist university and there's this really interesting attraction here called the Dewan light sanctuary that looked really interesting online so i'm kind of curious to check it out it's free to check out you just have to go to the welcome center and let them know you're here look at this so weird this is this big white dome <laughs> with all these weird like uh, acrylic prisms in the window. I don't think you can actually see in that one. Well, you probably can't because the camera. It's got like rainbows coming through it. Really an interesting big white room. In a white room with black curtains at the station. <laughs> I guess they do like but uh, it's overcast today, so I'm not seeing any crazy light reflections or refractions. Like, I guess if you're here on a really bright day, there'd be all kind of rainbows shooting out of these things. Huh, look on the ceiling. It's even more. I think you're just supposed to um, lay on one of these benches and look up and like meditate kind of a thing because there's all these weird little like altars with these little dishes on them. And then there's like a back storage area with these cushions that you sit on for like meditating. It's my friend sitting on one. Yeah, I don't know, it's a, really a weird place, but I love it. It feels like I'm in 2001 